Hi, this is Brian, and this is just another update on my aquaponics um, little experiment here. Um, if you've seen my other videos, um, you'll know this is my second go at this. Uh, the overall design is unchanged. Um, the tanks are the same that I started with, and uh, pump and all the piping and everything is the same. The main difference the second go round is the uh, approach I'm I've taken to the um, water levels. I'm now running the pump on a timer, whereas originally it was running all the time. And so now I let the tank drain a little over halfway. It, it, ideally it would probably drain more than that, but um, the way I have the drain set up, it's not easy to drain it any further than that. So it drains about halfway when the pump is off. And when the pump is on, it fills up to just under the grow medium. Um, and so I had that pump on a timer where it runs about a half hour, uh, five times a day. And so that seems to have been working pretty well. I mean, herbs aren't a hard thing to grow, but as you can see, I've got some basil doing well, some parsley back there. Um, savory is kind of surviving. It's not exactly thriving, um, but it's doing okay. I've got some dill, which is growing kind of strangely, but seems, doing, seems to be doing okay. Uh, and some mint, which is kind of a mess. I need to trim that up. But um, anyway, that's uh, that's what I've got going right now. Um, and then I just today planted um, some spinach. So we'll see how that does. Um, supposedly herbs and, and leafy greens are the easiest things to do with aquaponics. So um, we like lettuce, so I figured I'd expand in that direction first. Um, of course, I'm constrained here by size, so there's not, I can't like grow tomatoes or peppers or anything very easily in here, but um, I'm hoping I can get some herbs and uh, leafy greens going, and ideally I would love to get strawberries going, but I have no idea how hard that would be. Um, if, uh, if my current draining scheme doesn't drain enough, maybe it'll drown the strawberries. I'm not sure. I tried one, started from a, from a little seedling, and it died pretty quickly, but that was with the old scheme that was always full of water, so maybe it'd do better. Um, they don't have strawberries at the nurseries yet, so I haven't had a chance to try that. But Anyway, just thought I would give an update. Last time I filmed, I just planted all this stuff, and so now you can see it's doing pretty well. Um, the fish, uh, the same two fish that were in there originally, um, and it really is very uh, low maintenance. I mean, um, I know people say that about aquaponics, but it really is true. Once you get the chemical balance all ready and everything, um, it's pretty hands-off. My only inputs are light, water, and fish food, um, and at least herbs seem to do just fine in that, in that case. So, uh, anyway, um, hope you enjoyed that update, and uh, I'll uh, post another one at some point once I have a little bit more to show off.